everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i know it's been a minute things have been super crazy in my life and big things are coming so if you guys are following me on instagram you might know a little bit about what's going on but i'm back with a video if you're new to my channel my name is marta and if you can roll your r's you can say marta but either way is fine Today I am doing a sit down makeup review for you. It's going to be one brand, it's Folklore. Folklore, I don't know if you say Folklore or if you just say Folklore. I'm gonna say Folklore because there's an A in there and I wanna recognize it. <laughs> they have kindly gifted me all kinds of products from their website to review for you guys. This is an honest review. I do have my base makeup on so I have my foundation which I'm still using the L'Oreal but I do wanna find another one so. Let me know. Um, and then I have like Maybelline concealer and setting powder, but that's it. We have no brows, we have no lips. As you can see, it's winter, and so my lips are not cute right now. Not cute. The brand Focalore is kind of like a California, Hollywood themed brand. Their palettes are very cute. Um, and they also are cruelty free, which we love. So let's get started. Okay guys, I feel like we should do my eyebrows first because they're kind of bothering me right now. So you guys know that I usually use a dip pomade to fill in my eyebrows. I have a whole video on how I do it. But I've been thinking about venturing into the eyebrow pen world. I think it might be a little easier. So Focalore does have a eyebrow pencil. It's pretty, this packaging is so freaking cute. It says Sketch, the artist pencil. And what's cool, guys, is all this stuff is very affordable. Very, very affordable. So I'm eager to see what the quality is because a lot of the things are less than $20. Ooh, fancy. This piece has a very thin edge to it. So if you want to do super fine lines, like maybe in the front. Oh, wait, it's like a replacement. Oh, cool. Okay, okay, so like when this runs out, you can put this one in. Sick! Okay, well I'm gonna put the backup one away. That's rare and really cool. So here's what it looks like. I got it in the color 04. Well, I do have pretty dark eyebrows compared to my hair. Just get in a little closer, guys. Other side has a little brushy thingy. So let's see how this works. Oh my god, it's so cool! <gasps> I can make my own extra hairs. But it's a way of making it look natural. I'm like, oh no, I just, I have perfectly shaped eyebrows. It's normal, it's fine. No problem. Holy cow, is this easy. Okay guys, I love this pencil. I think the shape of it, the fact that it is kind of like a little triangle, is really good for making all these strokes. Um, I might have went a little overboard on this side, but I feel like you can just make so many extra hairs. Genius. And the fact that it comes with another one is really cool, because this is not expensive at all. I want to do blush and highlight now first i don't have any bronzer on so let me just quickly um i still need a bronzer you guys i don't even know what this is i should have got a bronzer from this sykes i don't know i got this from a what's it called birch box that's all i got i did ask for christmas from my sister a physician's formula bronzer so hopefully i get that but for now this is what we're working with the blush, it says sugar, yes please, bougie, very nice. All right, so this is kind of a warm toned blush, definitely, a little peachy. This is actually the color that I prefer. I don't like a very pink blush. I don't like a very red blush. I like a peachy blush, so it has a little bit of a sparkle to it. I normally don't like blushes with sparkles, but we're gonna give it a try. I use a flat brush for my blush because I... Like it, whoa! Hold on, a lot of blush came off. Let's see how much this transfers. Mm, that's a lot. Ooh, see the difference? This blush is pigmented. It's definitely not something you have to dig into to get anything. It's like one little tipper tapper touch and you're there, so. <laughs> I look flushed, honey. And I also put it up here to make it look like I have 
freckles. What blush was I using before this? I think it was just in an eyeshadow palette I had, so now I got a official blush. Oh, this is the, it says C08 Zinnober. Zinnober. I don't know, but that's the name of the blush. And the last thing for the face before we move on to eyes is a highlighter. Man, yeah, look how cute the packaging is. So cute. Okay, all right, so this is a white case with a rose gold thing that says glow. <gasps> Oh, there's a diamond in the center. Okay, so champagne um, highlight with a little bit of a pink highlight in the center there. We'll see how that goes. Oh, there's a mirror on it. Mm, the blush did not. Okay, this is a really good mirror too. So this one is called Diamond Glow Highlighter in Golden Crystal. A one. Um, I'm just going to go all over and uh, we'll see what it does. Ooh, okay. Oh, wait, I love this. It's not chunky. It's like wet looking. Like, you know when you're actually highlighted? Like, that's the vibe I'm getting. So, if you are someone that does not like a chunky highlighter, which I used to like a chunky highlighter, where it's like big chunks of glitter, but it looks a little forced. So this one looks really, if you guys can see, like, if you could see in person, it's very light, tiny little specks, so it looks much more natural. That's the best description I can give you guys. And I'll put some here. Ooh, a little bit here. I feel like because of the color of this, I could put it everywhere, and it would still look normal. And then I get a small, detailed brush, and I go ahead and I do that on my nose, so. Right like that. I love the color of this. And then I'm going to take a little bit and put it in the inner corners. Man, I love this color. I just love the sheerness of it. It's not um, chunky. It looks very natural. I love this highlighter. I'm really, really excited. I've been looking for a really good highlighter. And this one is just not too intense, so I like it. You might not. I like it. Um, if you guys want any of these things, I did get you a discount code. So for 25% off, Martita Style, right there. You can get a discount. Um, look on their Instagram. There's girls that create amazing looks with these palettes. But we're going to try with your average gal right here to create a pretty cool holiday eye. Because I'm not, I'm not like the best at makeup, but I... I like know the basics, I want to say. Like, if there was a, you know, makeup 101, I'd ace it, okay? 102, maybe a B. <laughs> they have so many eyeshadow palettes, you have to explore. They're all super affordable. I picked the one that had a ton of sparkles, a ton of shimmers for this time of year. So I got the Perth palette. This is what it looks like. And wait till you guys see this. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Oh my gosh. I wanted this because, first of all, the oranges and the nudes, my jam. Like, that's what I wear on my eyes every single day. But you also need a pop of emerald green, a pop of blue, pop of purple, pop of silver for those days that you want to be a little extra. <gasps> Did you guys? Okay, I just noticed that they have imprints in the matte colors. So down here, see that, like, camera? Up here, there's something. I don't know how I could show you guys. Here there's something, so cute little imprints. Also, by the way, the reason I love this is because it's small and compact and I can fit it into like my carry-on and my purse and travel with it because I'm constantly on the go. If you guys can't notice, this is a new setup. I'm always at a different location filming, so um, this is perfect for me. And I just love all the different looks. So let's see how pigmented it is. It was like $17. I think it's on sale right now for less. And I'm also giving you a discount. So you guys can get this maybe for single digits like craziness. So I don't know. I really want to play with for today because it's holiday. Like it's this is like Christmas type of eye look. And then I'll do another look I think later that's going to be more New Year's Eve glitz and glam. So let me do a quick swatch. I'll do a quick swatch. Try to do it quickly. This one is free mantle for mantle. Let's do one dip in it. Okay. A lot came off right there. And we'll go like this. Whoa. Okay. They came in slaying. Numbat? Numbat? I, am I saying all these things wrong? Am I stupid? Oh. <gasps> Okay, 
very pretty. Opal, which is this one. It's like, it has blue reflex, but also purple reflex. Okay, so right off the bat, I can see when I dip into it, it's super reflective, but it's not like, there's not a lot of matte pigment in it. It's a lot of just sparkle. So you're probably gonna have to put this over top of another um, eyeshadow. But let's see. See that? See what I mean? Like it's not probably gonna be worn on its own. It's staying on my finger. <laughs> it's literally staying on my finger, but not transferring much to my arm. Okay. Next one, I'll go right above it and do Swan River. It's that emerald green one that I really want to play with. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, that one is really pretty. Not as thick as I thought it was going to be. Sorry for my bracelet, you guys. But yeah, I'm going to have to put a few layers on that. Then the next one next to it is called Shark Bay, that blue. Ooh, that one. That is beautiful. <gasps> How pigmented. Okay, that's like a completely different formula. Yeah, that is so pretty. Okay, so those two are different pigmentation. These are different, like they're much more pigmented than um, the two glitter ones. So these ones are similar to the other one. Pavlona, that one, it's like reflecting silver, but on my finger it's coming off as so many different colors. This is like a New Year's Eve type of sparkle. So, yeah, it's like you get so many different reflex from it. It's weird because look at it on my wrist. The closest one to my hand is this color. And look, it looks silver here, but it looks like brown on my hand. It just gets so many different reflex. Perth, the color that it, the palette is named after, this one right here, it is stunning. Like, it is so pretty and pigmented. So that's what the palette is named after. Um, that blue it's like elsa blue if you want to do an elsa look this is the color okay i have an idea of what i want to do kind of something like this where the focus is the little tiny green accent in the middle but we mostly use a lot of um golden colors to contour and i can even use in the center of the eye this white here to make a nice a pop. I always take a big fluffy brush. Um, I don't really need to clean this because I know what colors on it. Brown because that's what I always use. So I'm gonna start with let's see this color right here at the top to begin giving that shape. Just like the blush the color comes off very easily. Do you see all that color on the brush? Yeah very easy. Take a flat edge of something and you can go like this, and let's see how this goes on. Ooh. Okay, it's buildable. It's not something that the second you set it on, it's super dark. It's something that you have to build. I'm gonna get a smaller tapered brush, this one. And I'm gonna go a little bit into coral, right there. Coral. And then I kind of just dip back into it and tap it in. Try to work it in over here. A cat eye kind of effect happening. If you have hooded eyes, by the way, like I have hooded eyes, you want to make sure you put the product way above the hood or it's going to look more hooded. So I kind of put it way above the hood and I can get this other brush and continue blending it. Just pretend like you have a crap ton of space up there, even though you don't. Just pretend that you do. Next, I get an even smaller brush. Now I'm going into that one that has the cute little camera in it. That one. Then this, I'm going to really focus on the outer edge, making sure. It's kind of like I'm making winged liner. <laughs> um... Mostly because I don't know if I am going to put eyeliner. I think I am though because I got eyeliner from them. So I will use eyeliner. And then I can take the very tip of this. I'm going to dip into the coral color we are using before. It's a little bit lighter because I'm moving my way this way. You guys, contouring of the eyelid. You can literally make your eyelid look like 
whatever you want it to. So I'm trying to make mine look big. Okay, now I'm going to get a flat brush. I'm going to take this flat brush and dip into Numbat? 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 It's the sparkly brown and set that on top of... Okay guys, my camera got overheated and had to take a little siesta, but we're back. I just did the same thing on the other eye, and now, um, like I was saying before my camera died, I want to put the Numbat Glitter Brown on top of the brown areas because I think I want the whole lid to be sparkly. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to carve out the cut crease so everything can look way nicer. I'm going to take this flat brush, grab my concealer. I use the Maybelline Concealer in Light, and I just put a little bit on the back of my hand, and then we will dip into it. This can literally decide the size of your lid. So that's where all the green's going to go. But yeah, I basically just set it on the lid and then build it to the top where I want it to go. I'm trying to make these look similar in some sort of way. Now that that's carved out, I'm just going to kind of touch it a little bit with the sparkle again. And then we need to bring in the green. So I think because I used concealer, my lids should be pretty wet. And go into the Swan River green. All right, it's working better with a brush. It's actually coming off. Fingers crossed we don't have any fallout and ruin my face makeup. Ooh. Pleasantly surprised. Okay, we have no fallout so far, so that's good. I am having to dip into it a few times. All right, so now I'm gonna get my glitter that was the brown and blend it into it a little bit as much as I can. Um, I'm getting a smaller tapered brush and I'm dipping into the white that this palette has, the shimmery white, watch this. Okay, that made a big difference. And I'm going to put it at the very bottom. And I'm going to do one line down the center of the lid. So I know it looks a little crazy right now. And I also know it looks way better in person than it looks on camera. But let me do the same thing to the other eye. And I'll be right back. And we can do some liner. Okay, guys. I think it looks really pretty. At least in person, it looks really good. Maybe let me grab my camera and try to show you what it looks like. slowly getting dark out in here which is sad because it's two o'clock and it's getting dark out this is why i need to get up earlier because i can't film at noon because then i'm limited with time i need to film earlier anyway guys i really like this look but we have to obviously reflect the same on the bottom so i'm just gonna be taking the same colors that are above and duplicating them on the bottoms like one like this and dip into the beaches and the coral, mostly beaches. And just sweep it. It's a little top heavy right now. But what I want to do is get the blue. Not the blue. The Okay, it looks blue, but it was supposed to be green. <laughs> blue and uh, put it right at the center. And then I'm going to take our smaller little teeny tiny brush and go into that darkest color and focus it on the outside. It's called Mount Eliza. Let's see how it kind of continues down. You got it? Okay. See it. Okay, guys. So, the palette, I definitely like, obviously. I think I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 um, because most, like 80% of what's in here is very pigmented and creamy and good. But obviously, when you're working with chunky glitter, it's going to be chunky and there's going to be fallout. So, you kind of have to layer it. But when you do, mm, mm, mm. It's really pretty. <laughs> and I just love that it's tiny. Mm, I love it. Okay, next we have this super fine liquid eyeliner. I've been needing a liquid eyeliner for the longest time, so I'm really excited to try this. So, oh, perfect. I just turned the brightness down because I think it was kind of washing me out a little bit. But anyway, let's see how this is. So, 
Um, the tip is so pointy, I can get so close to the lash line. Whoo! That is good! Oh, I love it. Oh, does this... Maybe the shaking it makes more liquid come out? I don't really know. So, I made it really thick because I really like a thick wing. But you guys can do whatever because this is tapered so thin. Let me throw on some mascara and my false lashes and we'll be back to do lips. And that's the last thing. Okay. <laughs> okay, with lashes, I mean, damn. Come on. Mmm, 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 mmm. I love this look. Love it. Okay. Also, I put a crap ton of mascara on on my bottom lashes because I think that it really opens up your eyeballs. The lashes I use, you guys know, are Ardell Magnetic Lashes. So, they're magnets. Love them. Alright guys, for lips, we actually have three options. I got a glitter lipstick, a matte liquid lipstick, and a glitter lip crayon. So, let me swap each of these. So first, the glitter liquid lipstick. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Alright, my camera almost died on me. Okay, so... Let's just see. I, can, I don't know if this is just a gloss or if it's actually a liquid. Whoa, look at that, guys. <gasps> Holy crap. That is beautiful. That feels so luxurious on. That is thick. I don't know if you guys can tell. That is thick. Not sheer whatsoever. It smells like chocolate. That smells great. Okay, then we have a matte lip. So what did they... These are both mattes. Okay, these are both mattes. This is the color Wine because I really needed a wine colored... That, guys, I think these lipsticks are kind of well known. This is so thick and pigmented and beautiful. So we'll see how they dry. And the last thing before my camera dies is a crayon. I've always wanted to try a lip crayon. It's easy, you know. Let's see how it is. I got a glitter one. This is what they look like. Um, I'll put the colors and links to everything below, you guys. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I got some on me. Okay, so let's see. Okay, it's literally like a crayon. But it is so reflective. So it's like slightly cooler and darker than the other one but I don't know which which lip I should use you guys with this look I have today I feel like I should do I think I want to do the metallic liquid lipstick so okay so it has applicator like this whoa that's dark wow Merry Christmas okay it dried really fast my lips are completely matte. This is the weirdest thing. I've never had a matte metallic lipstick. Maybe I've had a red one. I think I've had a red one. But I've never had this color. Mmm. This is so weird. It's matte, but it's reflective. My camera's about to die, so let me charge it and then wrap up my final thoughts. Alright, guys. Final thoughts. Okay, I am so impressed. By the way, these won't come off. The crayon came off. I have been rubbing these. The red's finally coming, but this one really won't come off. So, <laughs> if you want long lasting, you got it. I found it. I found the jackpot, you guys. Um, perfect for eating. Ooh, that's a good point. But yeah, guys, so if you want anything, here's my discount code. You guys can also check out the links below so you guys can get it faster. And that's everything. I'm really happy, guys. I'm so happy to be in front of the camera again. I've been so busy with other things, but this really is like, I don't know, kind of therapeutic for me. And I think a lot of other YouTubers agree with that, that this is kind of our me time. And aside from YouTube, we're working and doing other things, but this is just kind of my creative me time and I value it and I value you guys so much. So thank you for continuing to support me, continuing to click on that video when I post it, whenever I do. You know, I'm super like, I'm pretty 
organized, okay? So it's been bu bugging me that I haven't posted the two videos a week that I promised you guys. So I'm super sorry about that, but I know I'm going to create another look for you. I know I have another haul coming, and I have some trips coming up I plan on vlogging as well. So thank you guys. I love you, and I appreciate you so much. I hope you guys have an amazing holiday, whatever you're celebrating, and I will come at you with another video. I promise. Okay. All right. I love you guys. Bye.